Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, happy Friday to you. And boy, yesterday we had some good looking clouds over Lake Erie with those rain showers and a couple thunderstorms that moved through. Sean Sweatman sending us in. And of course, Sean is always out there trying to chase storms and look at storms. And of course, he's out there in his storm interceptor. And boy, this was over Barcelona Beach yesterday. Nice look over Lake Erie. And if you have any pictures or videos of the weather, Hunters WX on Twitter, the First Defense Weather page on Facebook, and always use that hashtag, MyLocalWX. We'll try our best to get them on the air. Now tonight, JHS has their next football game. It's not at home, but it's at Williamsville South. And uh, that's who they're taking on tonight. 67 at kickoff at 7 o'clock, down to around 64 by the fourth quarter. Partly to mostly sunny, going partly cloudy for the overnight hours. So it'll be a nice night for football. No rain, and it will be a seasonable chill as well. Wanted to mention as well that uh, the uh, Buffalo radar will be going down. Again, we mentioned this yesterday, but in case you missed it yesterday, uh, on Monday, the uh, National Weather Service in Buffalo is going to start doing work on the radar, and this is what they're going to be doing. They're going to be uh, redoing the radar pedestal, and it's the third major part of the uh, Service Life Extension Program, otherwise known as SLEEP, and the radar will be down for two weeks. So, again, many people think that the radar pedestal is this thing right here. Well, this is actually called the tower, the thing that holds the radar. What we're talking about is the thing that holds the radar dish itself. This is the radar dish. The radar is codenamed WSR88D, stands for Weather Surveillance Radar 1988 Doppler. That's a mouthful. But uh, the pedestal is this thing right here that holds the radar dish and it allows the radar dish to rotate and move up and down. And that's a very critical part of the radar and uh, they're going to be redoing that starting on Monday. So the radar will be down for two weeks, but don't worry, we've got other radars around that do provide coverage while well, the Buffalo radar is down for a well-needed uh, little maintenance spa. So here we go with Future Scan showing you a couple scattered showers through the early afternoon. They'll taper off for the late afternoon leading to partly to mostly sunny skies tonight, partly to mostly cloudy as we just told you. So it'll be another nice night and a little bit chilly again. Some spots may uh, dip into the upper 40s overnight. Then tomorrow, a looker of a day. Partly to mostly sunny and warmer temperatures. The temperatures return into the 70s tomorrow, so no more 60s. But notice on the last frame, a future scan here, painting another line of showers moving in across the Niagara Peninsula. That's the next front that moves our way, and we'll see more predominantly more showers later in the week tomorrow or on uh, next week. 66 to 71 today, early afternoon showers taper off, partly to mostly sunny with a still cool feeling tonight, partly cloudy. Lows will be around 45 or so, actually around 46 in the valleys to right around the upper 50s in the uh, to the upper 50s right at the Lake Erie shoreline. Some patchy fog will be possible overnight as well in the valley locations. Take a look at the uh, seven day here and uh, you'll be able to see 74 tomorrow. A scattered shower on Saturday or on Sunday will be possible. That's as the front approaches. We'll see bashful sun on Monday. The sun will try to peak out at times, but look at Tuesday. 80 degrees. We officially put it in there. We do think we have a good shot of hitting it. 78 on Wednesday and on Thursday as well. We stay in the upper 70s, but the better chance for rain right now looks to be on Wednesday. Just a few more scattered to isolated showers on Thursday.